Jump here for Paper X2. It's going to be straight over the belt, walking into A nice and quickly. There is already a level of a rotation coming over from Xertia, but Devi, he does have the spot. Does a little bit of damage here on this chamber, but nothing that they can't exactly sort of walk out from for the time being. The heal comes across, and now it looks like already very quick. It is going to be that aggression there. Forsaken straight into position, and now he will take over the top as well. There's the lock-in first. Surf dropped as well. Already Sushi Boys does find a trade. Gets actually two before Jing responds, and now it's Foxy to get one back. It's an immediate two-on-two -on, -two on this A site Komodo. Spike, though, dropped up high. Man, absolutely chaotic in the first pistol round right now. And a double swing out. Foxy, he has to try and win this one behind the single box. The jump shot. The oh! right click through the box. Benkai will get taken down. And Foxy will hold on on the A site for three. And the pistol, of course, to Zertia. Very, very quick way to get started in it here for Zersha. An important one, as you mentioned, obviously playing a series earlier in today that did have three maps to come along with it. A half hour break. Uh, there's sort of two ways that you can look at this. A double-edged sword. It's either you take that momentum from the first series. You've got the hype. They were clearly stoked. You know, it's a qualification point to Copenhagen. And whilst, you know, Paper X have had, a, I guess, they've got a fresh set of legs on them to, to jump back onto the field. Maybe Zersha is going to be feeling that hype. You know, it's obviously that passion, that drive that we've all had from playing online games down at the computer cafe to uh, get it all going. Mm. So either way is a benefit, depending on which way you want to look at it. Uh, one of the things that Fluffy mentioned, of course, was going to be the difference between what the Fade and the Sova are going to look like in toward this map. I think I'll take it one step further and see just what the difference between Surf and Forsaken is going to be. Opting for their jets right now. And speaking of Conky, Surf is on pretty ham in this round for the 3k. Mind freaking Jing will get a bit of damage back, but in the end, it goes over towards Zershia. The first two rounds, you throw them behind us right now whilst they are important. This is going to be one of the more so ones as Paper Rex do have that buy. Big start, big moment. Surf actually going for that full investment here into the Operator. So it's only sort of a uh, lackluster bonus in that regard of the way that they're going to be looking at it from a financial perspective into that next round. But it gives themselves a really solid opportunity to fight this fight nice and early. You know, they are facing up against absolute titans in Paper X. You know, fan favorites as well. And uh, Zersha, you know, they did take it to, what was it, five maps in that last time. They did play the best of five. In it's a broken wall as well. They make it a little bit difficult for them. They're going to be pushing on through toward the danger line. The Prowler isn't going to be utilized. It's actually the, uh, just a little trail that does reveal where Foxy is. Sushi Boy's taken down in the end as well by Jing to collect three. And finally, on the back of that timeout, Funky Paper Rex are on the board. So sharp there from Jing. A nice, clean, and easy three. But it was the opening, Divide, managing to pull away. You know, it was that little jump around that we saw coming out from Forsaken when he was at the back of the site, trying to sort of catch him off a little bit and did exactly. The bait was there, and unfortunately, Cruz could only get the one, as we did see a push around from Jing on the other side of Yellow. Sushi Boys was good for one, but unfortunately, Foxy wasn't quite ready. So in the end, it's a relatively clean and concise round to come out from Paper X to get themselves back in. As you mentioned, Divide has picked up the Operator here, but look at Surf. No, not overly Ooh. keen. Did get spotted out and Forsaken can send him packing just for now. Well, we're in ultimate territory right now, and this is a big battle for Surf, but a flick missed from Divai. Forsaken's going to tempt fate at this one. He's actually going to win the duel wow. against Surf. Resurrection is, uh, is available from Cruz, so they potentially could get him back up, but it's quite vulnerable of a position, and... There's no real budging from Cruz at the moment, so lots of time. So it'll play with on this clock for Paper X starting to creep on through the maze. Is Forsaken a lot of these angles, but he's caught out with utility. That cloud burst is going to be the death of him. Sushi Boys to get that, but it's actually going to be the res on the reversal and the challenge. Oh, out, but Jing! It's, a, it's just taken through. Now, Jing, going above, going beyond. Really trying to open up this A site, and they're looking for that plane again. The amount of damage this man does on the Sage. It's the Battle Sage. We've missed it. It's so exciting to witness. And now hopping his way out towards heaven. It's scary all alone in this one versus four. You know, he talked about having that resurrection available earlier for Cruz, but I don't think anything is going to be coming of it just yet. Scary. Just has to wait. Ding. Spotted. Information gathered. Mind Freak to do the stutter step. And that is going to be Paper X making their way back. Super nice after they took that tactical timeout. Komodo, two rounds the difference. But, of course, a potential eco to be having to kind of stomach now here for Zersia. It's been some overpeaks, you know. The one thing that Paper X, I suppose, have a massive advantage of is, mm. you know, that individual ability, right? The confidence and the capacity to be able to go forth and really find these fights you know jing we talked about it so happily how on that raise you can hop skip and jump with those satchels anywhere straight into mm -hmm. the face of the opponent no matter what their caliber and apparently that's the exact same on the sage as well 
I think one thing you want to take away from that round as well for Paper Rex is they had access to a lot of their ultimates, but they didn't require them to win the round. They were still able to do it with the standard set of utility, the standard weaponry as well, really get up in the face of Xertia. And, you know, when they do lose a, com a comrade, they're able to use just that resurrection off Jing to get him back up and not, you know, they didn't necessarily need it, but it did work out to get another frag for Jing. When the res was there, it was used as bait for him to dispatch against the uh, the operating player on the other side. And it just, you know, flows. This could be huge, but Jing, he will do nice straight up in the top of the site dropping one dropping two massive star foxy does get his way back into it but this is that position komodo that they've overlooked in the form of mind freak he's going to be the linchpin here turning it on its head no way back into this at all surf gets one but i think he's going to be punished by mind freak doing him dirty there paper x it is just looking way too easy for this side here komodo it's patience from, uh, from Mind Freak there, to be completely honest with you. Knowing that the turret is in that position, he's waiting to see if anyone walks over to him to clear the tube. Because if he gets spotted out by the turret, it means that there's focus taken away from the site for Xertia. And it means that they can pretty much overwhelm him and maybe get a guaranteed frag, make it a little bit easier on in the retake. The fact that he waits to see when the push is in, he knows, the team knows, Paper X, that there is a lockdown available. And Sushi Boys, times like those, it is very, you know, crucial to get out that ultimate to try and get a bit of recovery, specifically when you're not playing against the Sova. They don't have a Hunter's Fury to try and take it down, right? So it is a big round that Paper X have just gotten. But now, in the very get-go of the new round, already that Resurrection is coming on board for Paper X. The Viper's Pit is coming out from Scary, who now is the A site instead of the B site that we've seen him start at so much. Yeah, absolutely. Cruz does have a spotting eye down towards B long here, but it does appear the Paper X are pretty happy to just wait. Looking to find that jewel inside the pit when they do spy the correct opportunity. I'll just give it time. We have the position to cut off the lurk as well in the form of that chamber utility here. Now as that wall goes up, they are going to be able to find this spike plant inside the pit. Maybe not actually. We have the Nano Swarm keeping them at bay for just a little bit. And this is where Sushi Boys picks up another. That's mm. Forsaken going down Komodo. A massive, massive member on the side of Paper X. Still 45 seconds left and Surf, he's just waiting, lurking to go fishing inside that green. Yeah, it, these are the rounds, man, that get a little bit confusing for me. I'm not going to lie, but the pit on pit action it does look like Xertia are okay to stay here and play off the info of Cruz. If he's Pressure just playing Cruise. spotter and falls back, left. then it would be big for him. But that second jump now, he's been yeah. seen. He's going to throw the slow up down and the barrier wall as well could be actually crucial timing for him. And the reposition, if he's able to find one, it would be massive. The spike is stuck in toward the B site right now. Yellow. Mind Freak's lurk over at the other side of the map does nothing. And as you mentioned, he drops the spike, not only with that frag, they have to try and get the plant. 10 seconds to go. It's Sushi Boy seen. They don't even need the plant at the moment. All of the jewels, they've got the better distance, and all of the kills come to Paper X. They now take the lead. Cruz did so much heavy lifting in that round to have the confidence to reposition, you know, finding the fight as well. But unfortunately, from yellow, it's very, very hard to defend with only that sheriff. And I'm just loving this pacing that Paper X have been throwing at us, right? You know, they're happy to kind of force their way into a bit of a position, you know, make the rotate start to come over, but they don't need to go. They can just wait, they can leave it and uh, ultimately fight the good fight later. You know, they had the advantage weaponry in that round, so they just were patient. And, and Jing again does it. At least Surf is there for the trade this time round, but Benkai is going to drop him on his bottom. And scary also gets a trade. It's a three-on-three three Komodo. Last round in the half, that res was found by Jing with that frag, and Cruz, he was one away being taken down, but more trades happening. Sushi Boy is looking the wrong way, and now it's scary. He's so far away. On the other side of the map, exactly right. In B, main has to pick up his utility too. And he will have access to the cloud burst. Remember, they, they have been playing this retake wall over at the A side, so he can potentially pop it right now. But Forsaken's already in the spawn at the bottom of the stairs. What a Ooh. shot to come through from Scary, though. That is absolutely perfection. And now, the one-on-one -on -one Devi, it's not really a kit that you can really, you know, play Protector on with this chamber. He has to fight for the duel. No utility to rely upon, but the footsteps have been heard, man. Scary. He's dancing around, and he doesn't expect Devi. It's eight to four at the half. Paper X... That's eight in a row as well. Eight in a row. Perfect way to close out the half here, Komodo. It's still a bit more prevalent on a map like Icebox right now. That's not to say the, the Fade can come into clutch. We may see it be a little bit better here on the defensive here. side, but I like this from Forsaken already straight into the face of Surf, but unfortunately his face Look is the Jing. one that gets shattered. Oh, he's been spotted though early. The shorty not exactly the weapon that you want to have there, but he's tucked in. 
and he can lock this down straight away. Ben Kai's also gone for the push and now Surf, he's getting hungry, he's getting excited. Cruz though punishes and already the chaos does start to continue to ensue. Ben Kai dropped down to 15, it's awkward. Surf can get the trade. He did have that heal earlier on and now it's all left on to Devai and Mind Freak. They have to rotate around. Still, Mind Freak a fair way away. Devai is not too far behind that toxic screen. One the plant remaining. looks like it will be found. Devai tries to peek on through, but Surf to deny. It's actually scary, rather. And it's all on a Mind Freak in this one on four. Yeah, the attacker's scary is something that is going to be probably very fancy to come through from Zesha here. It's where he's given a lot more free reign to the defensive side as well. You know, generally you're put on towards a site, maybe the other one here and there. And try to see what you can do. But right now, it's Mind Freak the Viper on that defensive side. His position is known and one versus four. If he's given a couple of individual duels, it could be good. But through the wall, he will be peppered down by Cruz. That's the pistol going over towards Zersha. So they've found both here, Conky. Yet they yeah. do still trail. I was just about to say, you know, to find both pistols and only have five rounds is certainly a uh, bit of a telltale at how strong Paper X and actually the bonus. are. In the, yeah, and the bonus, exactly right. Yeah, how strong Paper X are in the, uh, you know, the impact rounds, the important ones where you do have all the plant occurs. But when Jing is playing this agent, it doesn't matter. You know, you throw it out the window the way that you're supposed to play a support mm. agent. You just play it the way you want and you dominate. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. So Jing continues to punish this side of Xerxia alongside the rest of his roster every single member of every round the same super confident backing themselves and uh you know punishing Zersia when they make minor mistakes that they have been doing so Jing he's up confidence again this time he will be taken however uh -oh. it's going to be forsaken just one just two okay we can cool it down for a little bit Mind Freak was there as well he can get two of his own so he's looking pretty good now it's just all left on to Surf and Benkai he even joins the party for just a second so three alive for Paper X once more and Zersia can throw that round out the out the window just for a sec. Now they've got the buy. Fully yep. to come in. Yeah, just uh, the quick round from Paper X. You know, getting up close and personal with Sergio, knowing that they're going to have a little bit of a lesser purchase. Get closer to your operators, uh, to your ultimates rather, if you are Paper X as well. Is going to be yeah, kind of assisting in a next gun round, which is what we're going to be having here, right? So this is going to be kind of one of those do or die rounds for Zersia in this map here specifically. No massive build up of economy behind themselves. If they do drop this round, it'll be that force in the next where Surf will probably be popping the blades in that next one. And I love this play for Forsaken. It's a bit of a risky one. It's a bit of a heavy util one he still with that wall it. being used as well, but he still gets it on towards oh. Surf. No access to anything in this round. The res is there for Cruz, but again, you know, last time they used it, uh, it was an immediate denial of the res essentially with the two frags found because of it so they have to be very protective if they do elect for that res yeah one of the big sort of factors for Zersia over the course of the last few days has been Surf with his uh, opening round impact, right? That's a fantastic trade out from Scary to be able you to drop away for Saken. There is the resurrection though up for Jing, of course, and Cruz is actually going to be punishing that one here. Cruz picks up Surf, so no res out in this round for the side of Paper X, which means that finally we do have an advantage going the way of Zersia. However, they have to be careful. We do have Benkai still in the wait, does have the Nightfall available as well. We sent Mind Freak back towards mid spot over yeah. Boiler, where he has made a little bit of a punish. So it's going to be a relatively solo hold here for Benkai. Can he do well, the damage enough to keep Zersha? They should be able to get their mitts on some good weaponry in the next round to go at it again. But after that one, you know, you do start to consider the attacker's side for Zersha is, is finding what they need to be doing to gather these rounds to try and get the victory here in map number one of this grand final for the APAC VCT. Over 70% win rate on all of their maps as well. But it's, you know, a lot less maps played to go off. Fracture, uh, a, a lot more even so. It's usually one of those bands out and then split. Uh, again, another lesser number. So really leaning over towards Paper X in a round such as this. And we are in towards the round. A big creep up down B main. Yeah, an awkward fight. Yeah, they are straight into it here. Foxy going to be able to find that opening now. It's going to be onto the big man in Forsaken to see what he can do, but it's scary. The Reaper in the night that is going to be able to punish Mr. Sustanto. Benkai does at least get one back, taking down the Nightmare here as it is a Nightmare of his own on this fade. Two, three picked up for Benkai. What a fantastic response here, Komodo, from the Snowman. He's even got a fourth and trying to find the fight. It will be the ace from the Undertaker in Benkai to close out a 12th round here for Paper X. What a monster. 
Man's been the leader in the charge, and he's just picking up an ace to bring his kills numbers towards that of his team. He was the one that was a little bit lackluster for the course of this map so far, but on that information game, he's second to none and pulling out an ace in this round where it was such an important round for Xertia to have to try and get to keep Paper X from getting on towards map point. They have now found that one. And the purchase at least is going to be good for Zershi coming into it. But that padding, that safety net of OT that they didn't have to contend with in their mind just yet is now gone. Paper X at least securing that. And now their, fa their task, their focus is on the closure. They want to close it here. Senkai is just so good in these impact moments, right? You know, now it's do or die completely and the nightfall will start to come out. That's going to be all the reveals that they will need here. Paper X to try and continue this <laughs> duel, keeping them away. And the rotation is already there. But once again, look at Forsaken's positioning. He is straight down mid. And Komodo, this is exactly what I talk about. Having this level of confidence to do exactly that now. As they do try and find oh, the spike plant. Yeah, maybe there's a small gap, but it's not going to matter here. As that toxic screen is up. But as the Prowler goes out, it's a five on five. Komodo, I handball it to you. Will they close it out here? Paper X on the retake. Well, we'll see if the boys are going to fumble the ball right now, because I know I would with my slippy little mitts. And that's what we need to see from a Paper X to get back in toward this retake, this five versus five access to not real too much utility. Forsaken on the cloud burst for sure, but Hunter's Fury is pulled out left, right in the kill feed right now from everybody as Foxy brings out the Hunter's Fury. Forsaken he gets on, on one, the flank. And Forsaken on that flank. As oh! you say, a big guy lines them up. And the flick for Forsaken. That's going to be the closer. That's going to be the GGs. The curtain is closed on map number one here. Icebox is gained for Paper X. My word, Ben Kai.